please rise and join in the, in the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Hello everyone, my name is Chloe Schneeweiss and I am the Vice President for the Class of 2022. It is my pleasure to be welcoming you all today. First off, I would like to start with a big thank you to all of the teachers, school administrators, and family and friends for being here today. None of us would be here without your support and guidance. Well guys, we finally did it. It's crazy to think that four years ago we were walking in the doors of the high school for the first time and now we are all here ready to start a new journey of our lives. I found a quote that says, today is a milestone. It tells you how far you've come. Keep learning, keep trying, keep accomplishing, and keep venturing on through your journey. We all have a calling and a dream that we want to pursue. Whether that be going to college, the military, or straight into work, we must keep pushing to make that dream a reality. Looking back as far as I can remember to now, our class has had some pretty funny and pretty questionable moments, but those are some of the moments that I wouldn't trade for the world. Some of those best moments together were at recess, practice after school, Friday night lights, school dances, basketball games, the lunch tables, or even just in the classroom together. We have always found a way to be there for each other whenever someone needed it the most and always knew how to crack a joke to make someone smile. To the day ones that started in Roosevelt and to the ones who joined us throughout the years, you all are still considered family. We walked in here as one and we will also walk out together too. Every one of us has great potential and a bright future ahead of us. It is just our turn to take the step and make that dream a reality. I wish you all the very best and know that you all will do great things. Thank you for being the best class. It truly has never been a dull moment with you all. Thank you. Hoiston High School's Outstanding Senior Boy and Senior Girl Award is a tradition that dates back to 1939. Each person honored with this tradition has their name placed on a plaque in the hallway at the high school. To be selected for this award, one must be a member to the National Honor Society. The candidates are first narrowed down to five boys and five girls by the high school teachers and staff. The student body then votes for one senior boy and one senior girl. This year's outstanding senior girl is Livy Brewer. And this year's outstanding senior boy is Noah DeLiesel. Outstanding senior boy and girl, that seems like a title our whole class should, should deserve. Each and every one of us has a quality that makes us special in the class of 2022, whether that be a sports talent, music or arts talent, or just being a good friendly person. We couldn't be more thankful to be chosen for this award, but we couldn't have done it without all the people who have touched us along the way. To our teachers, coaches, and peers, we thank you for instilling in us what it takes to be a good person. But we'd like to say a special thank you to our parents. Mom. Dad, thank you for being the best role models that I could have asked for. I would not be the person I am today, nor would I be standing in front of you all today without the values they have instilled in me. Mom, your work ethic is out of this world. Whether you are staying at work until 7.30 to ensure that your kids are getting the best education possible or trying your hardest to be the best in the best shape of your life, you never fail to amaze me. Your hard work has given me the desire to work as hard as I can in every aspect of life. Additionally, your ability to see through the bad in people has always been a value of yours that I adore. It is very difficult for some people to be so, so, so polite and so kind to everyone you know. If you know my mom, then you'd also know the same. say the same. Dad, your outgoingness has inspired me to go out of my comfort zone in many aspects of my life. I was pretty shy in middle school and in much of my high school career, and you have shown me 
how much more to life there is when you're able to get out of your shell. Also, thank you for always wanting to go out of your way to spend time with me. Uh, not many fathers have this value. Uh, and, wait, 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 oh, yeah. and because you do, that makes you the best father I could ask for. Both of you have supported me and pushed me to be the best version of myself that I can be. Again, thank you both. When I think of the word outstanding, I think of my parents. Without them, I would not be standing up here today receiving this award. My mom has gone through more adversity in the last four years than anyone I would know, but she continues to put a smile on her face and gets up the next day. She's a go-getter and she does a lot of hard work that nobody sees, not for recognition, but because she is caring and knows what is right. She has a set of values that I admire. She is a big part of why we get things accomplished in my family. She is the strongest woman I know. My dad is a hero to me because he always supports me. He's gone through some tough times, but that only made him stronger for his own family. Whether it's listening to me talk or give me advice, he's there. He's strong-willed and can do anything he sets his mind to. We may argue, but that's because, Dad, you raised a mini version of yourself who doesn't back down and is always right, too. To the both of you, thank you for being there for me for the last 18 years. There is truly no one else I'd rather have as parents. Well, it's about time to get on with graduation. But before we go, I'd like to give a special thank you to my good friend, Murphy. He was truly the best person I've ever met, and he left such an amazing mark on my life and many others. We always know that you'll be looking down on us. And this is exactly why we should always value the things in our life. As we move on from high school, we, we will be given many opportunities of work, love, and friendships. We need to value every second we have because we've been gifted the opportunity to make an impact on the world. My class has so much talent, and they will accomplish anything they put their minds to. I hope you all enjoy your time with family, and please have an amazing graduation weekend. Out. I can hear the truck tires coming up the gravel road And it's not like her to drive that slow Nothing's on the radio Footsteps on the front porch I hear my doorbell She usually comes right in Now I can tell Here comes goodbye Here comes the last here comes the start of every sleepless night. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. Hey now. First of every tear, I'm gonna cry. Here comes the pain. Here comes me wishing things had never changed. And she was right here in my arms tonight. But here comes goodbye I can hear you say I love you like it was yesterday And I can see it written on her face But she had never felt He had plastic bags wrapped round his shoes He was covered with the evening news Had a pair of old wool socks on his hands The bank sign was flashing fire below It was freezing rain and spitting snow He was curled up behind some garbage cans I was afraid that he was dead I gave gentle shape when he opened up his eyes I said oh man are you okay he said I just climbed out of a cottonwood tree I was running from some funny bees drip drying in the summer
As we roll down this unfamiliar road And although this way is bringing us along Just know you're not alone We're gonna make this place your home To the demons, they fill you with fear. Trouble, it might drag you down. You get lost, you can always be found. Just know you're not alone. Cause I'm gonna make this place yours. Hey guys, so my name is Leah and this year I wrote a song about graduating and so I'm going to sing it. If I start crying, don't judge because I probably will. It's my last year of freedom, of making dumb decisions before I go out in this world and do things on my own. It's my last chance to do things that only kids get to do Before I'm locked up in a dorm room with some person I don't know And I love how 
far I've come And the people that I've met It's just so difficult for me to know that I'll be leaving next And I'm proud of who I am And all the places I've explored And I'm so lucky that I'll always have a place to call my home it's my last chance to prove myself to this little town show them i can make it big one day no matter where i am and i love how far i've come and the people that i've met it's just so difficult for me to know that i'll be leaving next and i'm proud of who i am and all the places i've explored and i'm so lucky that i'll always have a place to call my home because it's my last year of freedom of making dumb decisions before I go out in this world and do things on my own. And I'm proud of who I am and all the people that I've met. And I'm so lucky that I'll always have a place to call my home. A salutatorian must have a 4.0 cumulative GPA for the last seven semesters and be a Kansas scholar. This year's salutatorian is Libby Brewer. I am honored to be named this year's salutatorian. This honor has not been easy to get. It came with a lot of hard work and dedication in the classroom. I couldn't have done it though without all the people who have helped me to be standing here today. First, my teachers. Thank you for teaching my classmates and I our different subjects, but also preparing us for our futures. You helped us to understand that being responsible is hard work, but work that must be done. Second, my coaches. Thank you all for instilling in me the power to be determined and dedicated not only to my sport, but in maintaining good grades so I could play. Next, my classmates. Thank you guys for always being there for me to help me out and motivate me or let me know when there was a typo on my Quizlet. Last but not least, my parents. Thank you guys for showing me what hard work and determination will bring to you in life. You guys set the greatest examples for me. I couldn't have done this without your constant support or constant checking of my grades. Whether you moved here in elementary school, middle school, or high school, you've all got a story to tell that you'll never forget from the class of 2022. One of the most memorable moments for me was the day that we were no longer allowed to hang upside down on the monkey bars in elementary school. That day ended with the whole class getting to see a real life ambulance on the playground. One catch though, concussed Evan was the only one lucky enough to ride in it. After our years of playground fun, we moved up to the middle school and tried out the scary things called lockers. This is when you get to start passing notes through the vents of them with catchphrases like that one George Strait song. Please check yes or no if you think you know the song. You begin to play school sports for the first time and become the top dogs just to drop right back to the bottom again. Freshman year begins and you get to start driving yourself places, but you also get to learn what it feels like to go home and tell your dad you dented your friend's car. Still sorry about that one, Dad and Chloe. We begin to branch out and try new things and meet new people. Then before we know it, Senior year was here, the year where everything we had known would be our last. 
our last time passing in the halls, our last time competing as a cardinal, our last dance, our last day of school. I wouldn't trade the memories I've made with all of you for anything. Through the good times and the bad times, we've all been, been there for each other. I couldn't think of a better class to grow up with. To the class of 2022, chase your dreams, but never forget the road that leads you home again. Thank you. The class valedictorian must have a 4.0 GPA for the last seven semesters, be a Kansas scholar, and have the highest ACT composite score. This year's valedictorian is Chase Meyer. Good afternoon. It is my honor to represent the class of 2022 as valedictorian to welcome USD 431 board members, administration, teachers, parents, friends, and family. For the past 12 years, we've had to follow a core curriculum, taking specific classes in order to graduate. Math with Mrs. Williams, science with Mrs. Reif, a little biology, and lots of stories with Mr. Cooper, English with Mrs. Feist, who's prepared me in case I need to write a paragraph every day of my life, <laughs> history with Mr. Coombs, and government with Mr. Kelsch. But today, everything's an elective for us. If these have already started, though. Some of us have elected to go to four-year colleges or community colleges to continue sports next year, to go to trade school, or to join the workforce. Some have elected to join the Army, Marines, and Air Force to serve our country. We've elected to become engineers, EMTs, nurses and radiologists, teachers and social workers, along with many more. So far, so good, but we will have many more elections over our lives. Elect to live your life with integrity. To quote Tony Dungy, integrity is the choice between what's convenient and what's right. People are going to try and change you, but stay true to what is right. Pe other people can trust you and you can trust yourself if you make good decisions between what's right and wrong. At some point, you'll have to send a leadership position and you need good integrity to be a good leader. Elect to work hard. It'll take a lot of effort and endurance to become successful. In my freshman football season, I didn't think all the hard work was worth anything while I was staying on the sidelines every game. I was about to not go out the next year, but after finding some motivation, I did, and I was just on the sideline again, but I had a better mindset now, and I wanted to put in the hard work in the weight room and the, on the practice squad to get the varsity better, and it did pay off as I was part of our school's first ever state championship team. Now is my senior year, and I have to step up as one of the team's leaders while no one was expecting anything from us, but we are motivated by the culture of the program to work hard in the weight room and practice leading up to the season. And this fall, we ended up with an 8-2 and two record and a pretty successful season. Now I know that I made a good decision about continuing to put in the hard work because there's no better feeling than starting for Cardinal football on a Friday night. I know that there's going to be more important times to work hard in life than high school football, but it's a great lesson to carry into life. Elect to make good relationships. Remember your family and friends that have been with you the past 18 years when you leave. But make new friends and pursue your interests because you have the rest of your life to live. And when you get a job and a family, Make sure to choose correctly between your priorities because your true happiness will come from your relationships. I'd like to thank everyone who has helped the class of 2022 to get to today. We're taking a big step in life today, and I believe Hoyton Schools and all their people supporting us have prepared us to go to the next stage of life and make a difference. So, class of 2022, elect to go out and do great things. The Hoyson High School class of 2022 leaves us with some impressive feats. In March, 19 of these students were recognized at the Board of Education Senior Honors Banquet for having a cumulative GPA of at least a 3.5. The average cumulative GPA of this class is an impressive 3.26. A couple weeks ago, we awarded over $191,000 in scholarships to this class. This class has future welders, engineers, nurses, EMTs, accountants, radiologists, vets, mechanics, teachers. We even have a, couple, a few students joining the Army 
Air Force, and Marines. To the seniors, today is a huge step in stone in your lives. Be proud of your accomplishments, but don't be satisfied. You all have the potential to achieve whatever goals you set. You will have tough days. In those days, just keep in mind the five corner corner values that you learned over the last four years. Responsibility, honesty, positive attitude, grit, and respect. Good luck to all of you, and always remember, once a cardinal, always a cardinal. Mrs. President and members of the school board of USD 431, these students have met the requirements for graduation as set forth by the state of Kansas and USD 431. Please accept these students as graduates of USD 431 as signified by the awarding of their diplomas. At this time, I would like to introduce the members of the USD 431 school board who will assist in the presentations of diplomas. President of the board, Becky Mooney. Vice President, Sarah Tarleton. Pastor Don Fisher, Dean Stoskoff, Jessica Bays, Tracy Schneider, and Matt Beaver. Also with us, Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Patrick Crowdis, Student Advisor, Mrs. Hope Randolph, and Athletic Director, Mr. Farencraft. First row, please rise. <clears throat> Jaden Lee Andrick. Gracie Lynn Elward. Brent Paul Bocker. Adam Michael Baldiga. Samuel Wayne Baldiga. Emily June Bays. <laughs> Isabel Marie Behrens. <laughs> Steel Don Brock. <laughs> Livy Renee Brewer. Christopher Scott Whitehead Collier. Aiden Michael Davis. Camille Louise Dolacek. Noah Cade DeLiesel. Ian Michael Doss. Alex Dean Elmore. First row, please be seated. 
Second row, please rise. Evan Robert Fultz. Lucas Alvin Fox. Tessa Rose Fry. Ashlyn Renee George. Macy Nicole Hanslick. Dominic Eli Hendricks. Gabriel Ernest Hip. Jasmine Marie Keener. Emily Nicole Lovett. Matthew David McMahon. John Anthony Maddox. Chase Andrew Meyer. Cheyenne Summer Martins. Dietrich Allen Marvin. Penelope May McCraw. Spencer William Mintz. You may be seated. Third row, please rise. Braxton Darcy Nicholas. Alicia Owen. Trevin John Peterson. Corinne Rose Reif. Mallory Renee Reif. Tyler Wayne Reif. Legend Michael Robinson. Chloe Jean Schneewise. Levi Michael Shuey. Marla Joe Sin. Woo! 
Akira Nathan Smith. Braylon Lucas Thompson. Leah Rose. Cadence Marie Urban. Jaslyn Athena Vasquez. Jack Wyatt Wickham. All graduates, please rise. Graduates, please move your tassels from right to left. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Hoisin High School Class of 2022. Maybe seated. I promise we rehearsed the cap toss. They must have forgotten. Good afternoon. Thank you all for taking the time to be here with the class of 2022 as we take the next steps into our future. Four years. Sounds like a long time, right? As a freshman, that sounded like a lifetime. But standing here on this stage in front of all of you, four years felt like four minutes. They say high school is the best years of your life, but I beg to differ. Our lives are only beginning. Don't get me wrong, these past four years have brought me great memories and friendships that I wouldn't trade for anything. These experiences have helped me become the person I am today. High school is a time to figure out who you are and who you want to be, or at least that's what they say you're supposed to do. But the truth is, it's okay if you have no idea who you are or what you want to do with your life. Maybe your high school experience wasn't what you'd hoped it would be, or maybe it was and you still feel a little lost. The good thing is, this is not the end. Graduation is merely a stepping stone to the rest of our lives. This life is going to throw so many things at us, but all I can say is, take all the negatives with a grain of salt and embrace the positives. Be brave and don't be afraid to ask questions. Dare to know more about this world. Each and every one of us has the power to change the world in one way, shape, or form. And I hope that we all take the opportunity to do so. Before I close, I would like to thank a few people. First and foremost, I would like to thank all of the past and present staff of USD 431. From pre-K to senior year, there have been amazing people there to help us grow along the way. Next, I would like to thank everyone associated with Barton County Upward Bound, especially Rebecca Crotzer and Kelsey Hall, for always pushing me to be the very best version of myself. Next, thank you to all of my friends and family. Without your love and support, I would not be where I am today. And finally, as today is Mother's Day, I would like to thank all of the mothers out there, but I would also like to give a special thank you to my mother. Mom, you are my first country, the first place I ever lived. To the world, you are just a mother, but to me, you are the world. You forever inspire me to be a better person, and I am eternally grateful for everything you have done for me. I love you, and happy Mother's Day. <laughs> to the class of 2022, 
I leave you with this. Your time as a caterpillar has expired. Your wings are ready. Don't just fly, but soar.